Hey everybody, this is Sarion Science here at Arizona Science Center, and today I'm in the Dorrance Planetarium. I'm here with David and James, our resident astrobiologist and our resident astrophysicist, and we're talking about Cassini. It's all over the news, this plunge that everyone's talking about. So I'm gonna flip it over here to James. Can you talk a little bit about Cassini and why do we care? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the Cassini spacecraft has been in space for about 20 years now. We blasted it off of the Earth back in 1997, and it took a whopping seven years to cross the distance and finally complete uh, what we call the orbital insertion around Saturn. Uh, so that that happened in about 2004. You know, so since then, it's been just making laps around Saturn, checking out all kinds of amazing things from its atmosphere, its ring system, and several of its moons, which are just incredibly exciting. Wow. So from all of that exploration, um, David, did we find anything, or was there new knowledge that we, we gained? Sari, we found an incredible bevy of knowledge just right there around at Saturn and around Saturn. At some of its moons in particular, uh, Enceladus and Titan, we know that those could possibly house life. Wow, what is it about those moons that uh, make it so that there might be life? Yeah, so on Titan, for example, it has an actual atmosphere. It, it rains on Titan. Now, it's not water, it's liquid methane. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Now, good. on Enceladus, we know that there's water there because there are cryovolcanoes that actually spew out water vapor. Wow, cryovolcanoes, that sounds a little different than uh, what we might have here on Earth. Absolutely, and you know, it's these moons that are kind of what we're thinking about when we're talking about the great plunge that is coming up for uh, the Cassini spacecraft. So what's happening then, you know, we're talking about the plunge. What is the plunge? The, the spacecraft only has so much fuel uh, that it can use to, co to make orbital tra like trajectory changes. Uh, so it, it is just not possible for us to bring this, uh, this poor thing home. Uh, oh, so this sorry. is its final voyage. Now, w planetary protection is something that we are very, very concerned about. Uh, now, if there is some kind of life on these moons, we absolutely cannot risk this spacecraft crashing onto any of those moons and possibly contaminating anything that might be there. So, uh, really, our only other option is to take the plunge and crash into Saturn's atmosphere itself. Wow. Okay, so what happens if we send Cassini into the atmosphere of Saturn? What's going to happen to it? Yeah, so if you guys have ever seen a meteor shower, basically what happens is little specks of rock and dust are coming into Earth's atmosphere and just vaporizing because of the friction of our atmosphere when it comes in contact with it. That's essentially what's going to happen with Cassini, the satellite. So it's going to totally blow up. Oh, yeah, it's just going to vaporize. It's All right, so, but are we going to get anything from it? Is there at least an upside to it? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping we get some cool pictures out yeah. of it. <laughs> some cool pictures, and I would assume, too. I mean, the folks at NASA are really smart, so I'm yeah. uh, assuming all of those amazing tools are going to be capturing data all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. so. Fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed. So, uh, Cassini ending September 15th in its final hurrah by taking out lots and lots and lots of pictures, mm. uh, taking lots of data, and and giving us years and years of data to look at moving forward. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want more information, check us out at azscience.org. Send us questions on Twitter at azsciencecenter, hashtag SarianScience. And of course, if you've got more questions specifically about Cassini, come see these guys. They're here every day in the Dorrance Planetarium. <laughs> and you can also check out NASA's government website for more details. Thanks so much for coming by. We'll see you next time.